Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a next come shot with me today. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. If you like a come shot with me, like we're doing today, a grocery haul, too good to go bag, other come shot with me, a normal haul, like from anywhere, I buy anything you will see it um so please take a moment to subscribe it's free no cost to you for doing so if you can hear some clicking in the background that is the radiator clicking because you know it's winter now and it is cold and i want to apologize for being a bit mia work and the course i'm doing at work is a bit crazy so i've literally no time to do anything i can barely catch breath at the moment um and obviously this is nowhere near my full-time job so um that's by the by but I just need to get that out of the way because it's been really difficult to try and like find time to film bits and like edit and do all of that um but yeah today's come shot with me is going to be around next now this is from a few weeks ago um because I literally have not got around to editing and filming stuff um and I have been I haven't been to a next did I go next no, this next is the one in Milton Keynes, which I went to. It was on Black Friday. Enough said in it. Um, although, I don't think they actually have a sale in there. From what I remember, I don't think next were really doing Black Friday. Um, but Milton Keynes was packed nonetheless because some other places were doing semi. No, some were doing like full Black Friday, some were doing like, you know, we're here. Um, so yes, I went into Next, had a look around. This Next does now have a Bath & Body Works concession. It's not like a shop. Um, it's literally a bit, but it's it's a it's an okay, decent size. Um, because the Next in Milton Keynes, the one in the new bit that was there for like a half minute, gone, no longer there for Nito Buy. Um, it was that was Home and Beauty that is no longer there. Don't ask me. I don't know what's gonna be replacing it. Don't know, but that is no longer there. So there is no long, longer an ex beauty hall anymore in Milton Keynes, but you do have, you know, John Lewis, Peach Beauty and Boots. Um, and the Bath and Body Works is now in, because it was a very, very, like a shelf in the old next beauty and home. And now it's like a proper concession. I have done like a proper, mm, I don't think I went round it because it was like a security guard and stuff, but um, what I'm trying to say is they have that there now in there and there was a few offers at the time of Black Friday but I didn't really buy anything in well I didn't buy anything in there um, but we did go around next so without further ado let's have a look around the next men's section to see what is new in for winter. Here we go into next as you can see the Bath and Body Works concession is on the left but we won't be looking at that. Looking at jackets first that was quite a nice jacket like barber-esque style and then we've got um, some other bits here loungewear section over here which I won't be delving into too greatly um although i am in the need of some pajamas but that's by the by we've got this nice like suede ish it's very very suede at 55 pounds um kind of jacket here very nice there they've got a lot of check shirts this one's quite nice at 35 pounds it gives a bit of a vintage vibe um but like loads if you want a check shirt this is where you need to go um loads of those that green very green cardi now what where are we heading now these are the jeans um but yeah we're over here now they've got loads of these um little long sleeve polo shirts in so many colors um i'm kind of holding out to getting like a ralph lauren version of that from somewhere hopefully second hand um but that's quite a nice jumper and then we've got like long sleeve polo shirts here like a bit reese vibes and then this really funky it's a bit camo but it's like really not camo but it gives me like a camo vibe that jumper i don't know why um and then we've got some more long sleeve polos with buttons or zips lots of those this was quite an interesting um jumper here a bit fendi ish vibes maybe not not really at all but you know it looks a bit like that really nice like little pea coat here um tell me he's broke um really quite like that and that cream but i would not trust myself in the winter with that cream some nice quarter zip jumpers here like an ombre-esque style love the color of that jumper and like another quarter zip there with like 
they look very stretchy actually those jumpers um and then we have got down here some little denim jackets with the borg collar um another one over there there is a marvin humes edit in i was going to say tk Matt. we're in next but um didn't have a look at that i beelined for this love this jumper 30 I think that was 36 or 38 pounds but quite a lot of money but love it um i really like this jacket as well 65 for that i think it's a zip up one really like that and then we've got like a, another like denim style jacket in like check with the ball collar really like that um and then we've got like this jumper this gives me a bit all saints energy um if you will quite like that as well and another like check jacket that's got like um what do you call that like puffer jacket inside kind of thing this is a marvin humes kind of like edit lots of like you know it's very winter obviously but lots of autumnal wintry colors um lots of jackets and things and then i wanted to have a look at the christmas section um i've got some nice christmas jumpers but like the 35 pound upwards this one is particularly nice you know i love a quarter zip but 36 pounds so that was a look around next now I'm a bone to pick about their prices. I know everything has gone up in the world. I know. I know this is not a new thing. I know it has. Um, but like £40 for a jumper. Seems, you know, a little bit a little bit steep. Although that one of the jumpers that I showed, I think I showed, I hope I showed, was lovely. It was like a cream, but then fading to like a minty tealy colour. And if you don't know, mint, teal, turquoise pistachio if you will all sits within my favorite colors um that kind of vibe is my favorite color and i really like that color and that was a really nice jumper although i didn't i don't need any more jumpers and i don't can't justify a 40 pound one at the moment so nonetheless ended up not buying that but um there were a few christmas jumpers and things again the prices were around you know, £35 up, and I wasn't really looking to spend that much on a Christmas jumper. I did buy another Christmas jumper recently. If you want to see what one I did pick up, I will leave that linked in the look at what eye buttons I picked it up. It's in a Primark haul and come shop with me, however, it's not from Primark because I literally just bought this thing that was of interest in that place. So I'll leave that linked up there if you want to see that most recent purchase of the Christmas jumper for this year because I have had to. Um, retire some of them because they are very bubbly and one of my favourite Christmas jumpers that I've got that's from Pull and Bear for like ugh, it's probably seven years old now maybe um, it's gone a bit bobbly I could I might be able to get a deep bobbler to it but otherwise I might have to donate that one and I really like it it's not really like full on Christmas it's like Christmas adjacent in terms of it's like got a nor it's not really a Nordic print it's just like zigzaggy bits like it's just, it's a grey um and the zigzag zigzaggy bits here in like you guessed it a turquoise colour but it's a grey jumper um and I really love it but it is going a bit bobbly um and he's got like a deep bobbler I just said that but and that probably is in a hall somewhere in the depths of my channel from like seven years ago so do not go have a look at that but um yeah it's there um might even try and see if I can find a clip of it. But that's by the by. Next, I really like that next in Milton Keynes in the shopping centre because it's got a massive men's section and they had some quite nice pieces in. Um, the next vibe is, if you don't know, you know, jackets and polos and jumpers and bits and bobs like that. And they had quite a few bits of those in. But nonetheless, I did not buy anything because I did not need anything. And I don't need anything. Um, and I'm trying to restrain myself from buying anything. Although I did buy one thing the other day, it was in the sale. And you'll have to wait till that video comes out, which hopefully will come out soon. Um, I did go to Oxford recently um, and filmed a few come shot with me around Oxford. So hopefully I'll get those up soon. But as I said, quite difficult with me trying to find the time to film. Like when I go places um, and film the come shot with me parts, I still need to film like the intro and outro to it. Um, and it's finding the time to do that. Um, because the, sh sh the shopping trip that I went to Oxford for was kind of 
you know, a Christmas shopping trip, even though I didn't actually buy any Christmas presents because I have no inspiration and I don't know. There's only a few more that I need to buy and I don't know what I'm going to buy for them. I really don't. I don't know. I might have to have a look in maybe TK Maxx or something soon. But anyway, enough said on that. Hopefully there'll be other come shop with me around. I've got like Uniqlo, Urban Outfitters, which I might combine with like a River Island one, massive Zara one coming up soon as well. All from the Oxford trip, so please take a moment to subscribe if you're not ready for that, and also hauls and other things as well. It is coming up to Christmas, um, I do not know what I'm going to do over Christmas week. Um, I am working some of it, so I won't be able to go out and do any come shop with me, so I might have to not be around much but that kind of seems to be my vibe at the moment I'm really I really want to do more videos but it's just finding the time as I said work and I'm doing a course at work which is like over a year long um to get like a qualification and stuff um to progress further um so it is taking up a lot of my time at the moment um but yes thank you guys so much for watching this video has the, the lights dimmed um thank you so much for watching this video if you're not ready please take a moment to subscribe to subscribe to subscribe and i shall see you in the next one bye